Hi, and today I'm going to show you how to insert an image into PowerPoint and use it as a background to your slideshow. So I've just opened up a brand new um, slideshow and this is just the default slideshow when you um, click on blank document. So the first thing to do is to go up to the insert icon here go down to pictures and then click on picture from file. Here I'm just going to select my image and press insert. Once you've inserted your image into your slideshow, you'll see there are a number of design options on the right hand side. Now you may want to scroll through these options and select one that suits your needs. And if you want to go and do that, please go ahead and do so. Just be aware that if you do click on one such as these, where the image is dark in the background, you cannot change the image in terms of how light or how dark it is. If you want a little bit more flexibility, then I will show you how to edit this image in order to fit your slide. So as you all notice, the text boxes that were originally on this slide have disappeared and we will sort that out shortly. The first thing I'm going to do is just to show you how to make your image fit your presentation. So the first thing we can do, we can stretch this image if we want to by grabbing the boxes on the left and right hand side or if, as you can see now, the dog is quite stretched, you can grab the top and the bottom sliders to make your image larger than your slide. Now, in order to demonstrate that, if I just click up here, you have to be on the picture format. If picture format's not showing, just double click on your image and you'll see picture format come up. You go to the transparency icon here, just click on the down arrow and reduce the transparency of your image quite low. And there you can see where your image will lie on your final slide. Now you can move the image around and as you can see there are some dotted red lines that go vertically and horizontally across your slide to show you where the middle is and your picture will actually click into place once it's inserted into the middle. As you can also see, we've got the text boxes that are now visible. However, you can't edit them because they're currently lying behind the image and I'll show you that shortly. Just going back to the cropping here, you can see that your image is currently larger than your slide. Now, Despite this, PowerPoint will automatically crop your image so that only that in the slide area will show when you actually connect onto your presentation. So if I just click on slideshow down here, you can see that it will actually crop the image just showing the slide. As you can see, you can't quite see the top of the television up here. If we go back to the slide, it has actually cropped the top of the television off. So if you want to pull this, these text boxes to the front, it's very easy to do so. If you just ensure that you're on the Home tab and you click on the Arrange button, if you go to the Reorder Objects button, this wonderful 3D animation will appear. And this just quite clearly shows you that your image and your text boxes are ordered in layers. And currently our image is at the front. So all I need to do is click on the image and drag to the left. And it's now put my image at the back and my two text boxes at the front. Just click OK. And it's reordered my slide. I can now go on to edit the text. 
Now, if you have a slightly earlier version of PowerPoint, you may need to go up to the Arrange icon and use these icons here. Bringing to the front means it will bring the image right to the front as it was before. If you click on center back, it will send it right to the very back of the slides. But if you want to simply send it back one slide, you click on send backwards and it will send it back one slide and bring forwards, it will bring it forward one slide. So if we just go up to Arrange, Reorder Objects, you can see the slide is currently in the middle and we simply need to move it to the back. Now, if you want to produce multiple slides with this image on, but you want different sets of text boxes and content on each slide, by clicking on the text box and pressing the delete button, then you'll get rid of all the content on this first slide. Then all you need to do up do is to go to the insert tab, click on the new slides down arrow, simply go down to duplicate slide and that will simply duplicate the image background slide as many times as you need to. In order to demonstrate that if I just go to insert and then go along to text box I just quickly draw a text box and put in slide one. Go to the second, oops. Click on the second slide, put in slide two. Okay, so now we have all our different slides just to demonstrate the final PowerPoint presentation. If I click on slideshow down here, then you can see I have slide one, slide two, slide three, slide four. And my background image remains the same. If you decided that you wanted to change your background image for one, two or many of your slides, all you need to do is just simply double click or just click on the slide itself and it will bring up the image and to ensure that you've actually cl clicked on the image and not, not your text, um, you'll find that this picture format tab appears at the top. All you have to do then is just simply press the delete key and your image will disappear. Then you simply go to insert, down to the picture icon again, to picture from file, and then select the image you wish to insert. Again, there are some design elements that will appear on the right hand side. And obviously feel free to click on one of those if you choose. If not, then you can simply go back to Resizing your image, click on transparency to reduce its transparency and then ensure that it's at the back by checking the order. If it's not at the back then simply move it to the left, click OK. Then you can move your, your image around your slide if you reduce the transparency, it's far easier to see where your slide, your image will end up on your slide. And then just click off your slide. And just to review it, just to go down to the uh, slideshow icon. And then you can see how your image will look within your slideshow. I hope that's helped you today. If so, please subscribe and have a great day.